Each generation can remember every detail of a historic event that happened during their lifetime. For my grandparents, it was the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. For my parents, it was the assassination of President John F. Kennedy on November 22, 1963. And for me, it was the terrorist attacks in New York City in Washington, D.C. on September 11, 2001. Now, nearly 20 years have gone by, and I, like many that lived through this tragic event, can still remember most every moment of that day. From the vast ranges of emotions that I felt that day, to the specific detail of where I was when I found out what happened to our country. We all have different memories of that day. Your memories of 9-11 may be from what you have seen or heard from your parents or on TV. The adults in this building live through this day, each in a very different stage of their life. Here are some of their stories of September 11, 2001. So September 11th, 2001, I was in school and none of the teachers ever said anything. Um, so I didn't actually know until after I got out of school that day. Um, but when my mom got me in the car and we were driving down the highway, um, she told me about what had happened. And one of the planes actually had went down just south of Pittsburgh where, where we were going. And so I remember just like looking up at the sky and thinking, wow, like something crazy really happened and it wasn't that far away. Reflecting back, the first thought in my mind was thinking to my daughter who was two at the time um, and just kind of uh, thinking about how I wanted to hold her closely at that moment. We were taking a school picture, an all school picture, and I popped by the library and to holler at Mrs. Miller and she was watching the TV and she said there's been an accident and I looked up and they were showing this airplane hitting the tower and I looked at her and I said we, I said you're not allowed to fly an airplane I, I know that in New York and then we saw the second airplane hit at that point and then I looked at her and we knew it wasn't an accident a junior in high school sitting in my pre-calc class and my teacher turned on the TV um, in the middle of class which was very unusual just to show us the news and we saw the smoke coming out of the first twin tower that had been hit and then the news played the crashing of the second plane into the second tower and we were all very confused as to why these planes were hitting these very tall buildings but I just remember sitting in, in school the rest of the day, watching the events happen, um, and just wondering what it was that caused this, why did it happen, um, and you know, as a middle schooler, just being confused as to what world events were happening, and, and knowing that from that day moving forward, there was gonna be some differences in the world and in our country. I was 16, I was sitting in my high school history class, and I remember the teacher turned on the TV, and we saw the videos of the planes just crashing into the towers. Um, felt like time stopped. I also remember um, wondering how I was going to try to explain what was going on to my students that day when I was kind of confused myself. And I remember um, driving home from school that day and just noticing that there were no airplanes flying in the sky and how odd that was uh, to notice. Um, and then at the end of the day, someone asked our art teacher, what's going on? And she said, you know the, the Twin Towers in New York City? And I'd been, never been to New York City, so I didn't know, but some kids said they did. And she said, they're not there anymore. September 11th, 2001. I will never forget. I'll never forget. A date that I will really remember. The day I will remember forever. I will always remember September 11th.
we said we'd never forget.